Star. You Aunt can come up. Star amazing. Aunt Star amazing. That's her uh, Instagram handle. So um, I just learned that this morning. Aunt, Aunt Star, Star amazing. amazing. If you're on Instagram, follow me. Um, you might see some sides you haven't seen of me. Um, any other young at heart want to join us today? No? Okay. Well, Bobby and Michaela, you two get front row and center as if you don't get it every other week, right? <laughs> so Pastor Joe and I are a lot alike. I don't normally title my children's moments, but today, guess what the title is? Seeing is Believing. So I have two paper clips. Do you believe me when I tell you this, pay, this dollar bill connected them? You can say no, it's okay. <laughs> no, because you didn't see it, right? Well, here, let me show you. Actually, you know what? Before we get into this, this reminds me of a story. Do you know who Thomas is? Thomas the train? Oh. No, just kidding. Thomas was one of the 12 disciples of Jesus. And he was actually a disciple that needed to see to believe. Because when Jesus rose from the grave, he appeared to the disciples. But guess which disciple wasn't there? Thomas. So when all the other disciples were telling Thomas, we saw the Lord, he was here, he appeared to us. Guess what Thomas did? <laughs> yeah, right. Until I see those hands and I can put my fingers through the nail holes, I don't believe it. That's what we read in John chapter 20, okay? So, and even today, I know sometimes I can be like, yeah, right, show me. Elena tells me, hey, mom, I cleaned my room. <laughs> show me. <laughs> Michaela says, look, mom, I can do a handstand. Show me, right? I'm sure your mom has kind of said, oh, cool, Bobby, show it to me. Yeah. We've kind of created monsters in that sense, haven't we? Everybody wants to see it, to believe it, right? But guess what? Jesus is still here. Can I have that, please? Just like this dollar bill. Oh, trust me, you are not the only one who tried to steal this today. Not mentioning names, Larry, Joe, Harold, Whoever else was in the sanctuary before church. Um, <laughs> so just like this dollar bill, Jesus is still here. He is still performing miracles every day. Just because we don't see them doesn't mean they're not there, right? So I have this dollar. It's going to join these two paper clips. Oh. Hold on. I know, right? It was just seeing if you were paying attention or if I was paying attention. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe I'm not paying attention. Wait, do you believe me this is going to work? <laughs> no wonder it didn't work. Do you believe Jesus is here with us? Okay, I'll take that. Boom! It did work. So, in John 20, 29, we read, Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. So, I'm not saying, Bobby and Michaela, go believe everything everybody tells you, because somewhere along the line you're going to hear a Blinken's quote of don't believe everything you read on the internet, okay? I'm not saying believe it, but I am saying when it comes to God, when it comes to Jesus, even though we can't see just how Jesus and God are working in our lives, working out this whole craziness of the last year, um, it doesn't mean that we can't believe that he's doing it for what's good. We hear he turns ashes into gardens. He turns everything that Satan means for bad into something good. Because God said when he created everything, 
it is good. So we have to believe that. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for no matter what we do, you are still here. We may all fall away from believing in you. It's bound to happen because we get into the turmoil of life and we start to doubt ourselves and, quite honestly, doubt you. But no matter what, you believe in us and that is what we need to hold on to. So no matter what our days are like, always keep us near and help us remember that you are always here and we shall believe in you. And one day we shall see your beautiful light in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Can I have that back? No. Oh.